and it's been absolutely ages since I've done a video and I've not really been buying much to be fair I don't think I have anyway so this video isn't going to be a pickup video as such there might be some in there but I, I don't know it's going to be a bit of everything uh, I've been doing a lot of custom stuff so I'm going to show you my uh, new Xbox controller I kind of customised um, what else have I been doing? there's a couple of games that I've pretty much been hooked on and that's why I've not made any videos because I just can't put them down so I'm going to say a bit about them and I've probably got a few rants about the new Xbox uh, to be honest as well because uh, I'm sure everyone knows <coughs> reasons why that was quite disappointing First off, I'll main things. I mean, the only interesting thing I managed to find was in the charity shop. I got um, the guide for this game, which I picked up quite a while ago. Uh, it was about three pounds. It was four ninety nine. It was. It's very expensive for a charity shop, but it's very thick. So you know, it's not bad. And RRP is probably fifteen quid on it, and it's about twenty quid on eBay. So that was a nice find. Still not played the game. It's one I'm going to get around to eventually, hopefully. And Blockbuster have now got another sale on. And from there, they got fifty percent off. I got Brink and Football Manager 2007 for a pound. So I, don't know, I just. It was payday and I just saw them and I thought, you know, you, you can't turn them down for three quid. Um, but yeah, custom controller. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's what I did to my controller. So yeah, that's that controller. Um, yeah, I'll do some cutaways with a close-up of it so you can see it better, really. Well, we to, um, two games I've been playing. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. I know this has been out ages, so it's probably old news, really, but... Uh, they, well, they re-released it, Dark Arisen. It's got an expansion pack with it, and this was £20 brand new, and I thought, why not? And it, it, I've been hooked on it. I mean, I've got I've got no end of ARPGs, and I don't really play many of them. But this one, I don't know, it just hooked me for some reason. Storyline so-so. It's not the best or whatever, but I think it's just the gameplay really. It doesn't play horrifically different to normal RPGs, but I don't know. It might just be the the atmosphere and the surroundings that you get. I like the idea you get pawns that follow you around, and you can create your own, and like as you level up you can get rid of the ones you've got and get high level ones so you, you walk around with a party of four and the pawns that you uh, you take on are ones that are uh, other people's so you can like share pawns with other people online which is quite cool so I mean if you're a fan of the kind of genre that that's in and you've not played it give it a go I don't think you'll be disappointed because this is about, about the best one, I've, best game I've played since Bioshock Infinite, to be honest. That's for me. So uh, that's why I've enjoyed the most, anyway. Uh, two pickups I got. Res Evil 6, finally. £12. I just traded a load of junk DVDs in I found in my room and treated myself to that. And then another <laughs> Conan for £2.50. I don't think it's the greatest game, Conan, but at £2.50 for a 360 game. Especially when I've not even technically paid for it. Why not? And then finally, it's Fire Emblem is the game I've been playing as well on the 3DS. And I had never played it. I'm not really into these kind of games, but it got so hyped up and I thought, you know, I'm going to get it and it is really, really good. I, worth getting if you've got a 3DS. I mean, it's already been tipped as the best game on the console. You know, it could even, I don't know, I think it's winning awards already, it's 9 out of 10. People are saying if you've got a 3DS you've got to get this. So it's basically, it kind of plays a bit like the Final Fantasy games. But uh, you, don't, you don't really have, like, random battles, you're just walking into battles and then you have to, you have to command all your troops together and you can, like, it's kind of like a board game almost, like you're playing chess, like, 
you can only heal if you're next to each other and you can only attack if you're, ne if you're next to the person you're attacking and you know you if you're standing next to someone then they give them boost based on their friendship level and things like that it's a really complicated game to be honest uh, to explain anyway not necessarily to play but it's really in depth and there's a lot to it it's more than just you know turn-based combat it's there is a, there's a lot of tactics in it and I breezed through it and then there was one in particular battle that I got stuck on and I mean they take you half an hour for a battle and then if you fail you've got to do the whole half an hour again but then I found out you can save each turn so as you as you progress each turn it saves you doing the whole lot again because it does get quite difficult so that's that and now Xbox <laughs> well um, I don't really know where to start with it really I, I'm not not impressed, not really looking forward to it to be honest. The, the games I saw that were coming in as a release didn't see anything. I mean, I missed the whole conference, but I started watching it when I got home because I was at work and it was just it was just boring. I turned it off. It's just like an overhyped Digibox basically. I didn't see any, any really emphasis on games. It was all about the TV from what I saw. And then they went on to the games a bit, showed Call of Duty Ghosts and showed the graphics and they were very impressive but you know, I knew Call of Duty Ghosts was coming out and I'm probably not going to get it anyway. Although actually having said that, although I don't really like Call of Duty games, that game does look pretty good and I can see myself getting it. It seems like it's going to be the first COD worth buying since COD 4 to me. So that's that and all this bullshit about pre-owned games and DRM and all that crap. Uh, that's just putting me off big star. I mean I've heard um, if you rent a movie and you, if the connect sensor detects there's more than like eight people in the room you're then gonna have to pay extra. Well, I don't know if that's gonna be true or not but if it is then I'm gonna steer clear of that because they're just they're just gonna leech money off everyone that buys one I think so. Xbox probably not gonna be buying one now, let me down. PS4 is looking good. There's a game in particular on there I'm looking for called Deep Down. It's the working title of a Capcom game. It's a bit like Dark Souls type game. Hopefully, that'll be an exclusive and then, you know, the Xbox can do one. If not, I'll probably end up giving in and buying the Xbox because I love the 360 so much. But, you know, <clears throat> as people have been saying, people will be voting with their wallets. So. I don't know. Well, all I've heard as well is um, the Nintendo Wii U sales have shut up after the conference. So everyone's now seen seen what the three consoles are offering, and they've gone for the favoured one. And it seems to be at the moment like it might well be the Wii U. I think the PS4 will will sell well though. I think the PS4 will outsell the Xbox, and I think the Xbox will still sell. But I think a lot of people they've got their heads screwed on won't be buying them unless you know they're shit money but who does these days <laughs> so anyway that is all my bullshit rants and everything uh, if you're not bored by now and turned off thanks for watching and I'll try and make more videos but it's just when I get ideas and when I get the time so thanks for watching anyway